Hey everybody, welcome back to the Errand Space. Oh lord, it, it's an early day. It is very, very early right now. Insert picture of my Fitbit with little BB-8 spinning out of controllably. Um, yeah, so it's pretty early. Sometimes when you live in Los Angeles, you have to do day trips either up north or down south. And today's a down north kind of a day or I said down north. Clearly also I have not had any coffee. But I will be heading up north today, uh, just for the day, just for a meeting in San Francisco. But I thought for the solo adventurers club that we got going on here, I'd take you guys along with me uh, because basically I am meeting colleagues in San Francisco, but the trip itself is gonna be solo, just me. So again, much like Universal, luckily I live about 15 minutes from the Burbank airport. So I'm gonna head over there right now. I got an early morning flight. It's only about an hour, hour and a half flight. Pops you right up to San Francisco, so that's really good. But yeah, it's a really cute, cool little airport. It actually opened in 1930 and it has a lot of neat history behind it. Uh, Amelia Earhart, one of my like favorite people, obsessions when I was a little kid all time. She actually flew in and out of there. It was called Bob Hope Airport, or I don't know why I said airport. Oddly, because it's early and I haven't had coffee. It's called, it was called Bob Hope Airport for a while. That's pretty cool too, again, uh, with my movie obsession and fascination. It's pretty neat that I used to fly out of Bob Hope Airport. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We'll kind of go through the little bit of the check-in process um, at a tiny airport, because it is tiny, which is part of its charm and appeal though. So this is the Aaron Space, place for solo adventurers, place to do stuff go out, seize the day, and have a little fun on your own. So let's go. I'm ready. You're ready. Let's hit it. Uh, this is everyone's jam for getting ready for our business meeting, right? <laughs> also, it is really, really super gloomy out. It's not always sunny in Southern California. Like that, we are at, I guess it's called Hollywood Burbank Airport. Uh, online it's called the Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport. IRL, it is the Hollywood Burbank Airport. Either way, we're here and it is 6.45 a.m. So you can see just how close this airport is to where I live. Oh look, all their lights are up. I think that's just the way it is. It's not, it's not for Christmas or anything because it's almost March. So, okay, I gotta go park and check in. Welcome to the parking lot at Burbank Airport where you can, from the parking lot, see the airplanes. This is a lot different than LAX. We just literally drove up that road right there. And my house apartment is like right there beneath those mountains looking pretty cool in the mist this morning. The inland marine layer mist. Uh, Palm trees, love the palm trees, that never gets old. This is kind of cool too, because there's the tower for the airport, and then here is where you can have your passenger drop on and off. It usually doesn't get too hectic here, even on super busy travel days, or travel times like I'm at right now. It's so cute, I just love this airport. One of my favorite things is, so, we're gonna walk down the stairs here out of the parking lot and you walk across and uh, I'm on United, which is right there, but you literally just walk into the terminal. They have flights. Um, they have flights a lot of places. So I don't know if you're traveling, if you can look into flying into the Hollywood Burbank airport instead of into LAX, I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, Burbank is pretty central. We're about half hour from everything, to be honest. With traffic, 45 minutes. You can get to downtown, you can get to Hollywood, you can get to the beaches. It's really central, centrally located. And then to get down to Anaheim, it's about, without traffic, 45 minutes. With traffic, hour, hour and a half. And you know why we go down to Anaheim. Disney!
We love an early airport, easy peasy, walk in, walk on. I'm flying United today and it's actually, I'm looking at it, it's right in front of me. So we're gonna go check in, get through security. I will see you inside the airport. We love a perfectly timed trip to the airport. Um, through security, Burbank, it's tiny, so there's really no issues or problems. But there's one thing right by, I'm in kind of like around the corner from where my air, my um, gate is, where all the, it's really super busy, the hustle and bustle is right now. Um, so I just came around the corner here, it's a little bit quieter. But there was one thing by the gate that I was like, what is this? If I had more time, I would have gone in there. Um, but it's a good thing to know, so if you're flying United, or I saw Spirit was here. I'm not sure which other airlines are over here in the, I guess the B terminal, I'm at gate B1. But there's a restaurant that I was like, whoop. <laughs> I'll show you that. And then I think we're gonna get on the airplane and head off to San Fran. artwork here. There's you walk from the gate back there. It's pretty neat. And then it opens up to this big area here where I already see our first stop, the most important stop. Because I'm hungry, but more importantly, the plane did not have coffee or tea. More importantly, it did not have coffee. So we need coffee stat and breakfast and <laughs> I literally walked down from my flight and saw that calling to me bacon bacon let's go bacon bacon so oh my goodness I didn't show you any of my bacon 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 burrito because it was so good oh my gosh that really hit the spot bacon scrambled eggs potatoes salsa and then they gave me hot sauce more additional hot sauce to add and a coffee a little bit of milk and sugar i feel like a new woman we're in san francisco sfo there's a united plane right there it's about 10 times bigger than the one i just flew in on it's a pretty smooth flight though but oh my god it was small and they didn't have coffee the look on my face when i asked for coffee and the man was like Ooh, our coffee breaker's broken i was like oh but I think I might have discovered a new drink. He gave me this um, blueberry pomegranate uh, fuzzy water, soda water. It was delicious. I had the whole thing, but it was not caffeinated. But we just had our burrito, bacon, bacon, bacon. We had our coffee, uh, gonna explore a little bit. And then sadly, go to work for the day. So if there's anything cool here in SFO this morning, I'll try to catch it for you. But if not, it's always fun traveling. I feel the most at home on an airplane and in an airport. I don't know if that makes me crazy or not, but I love it here.
I wish we were departing at 11.20 for Kona, Hawaii. But alas, we are not. Not this time at least. Oh, Hawaii. I miss you so. And like that, we are back in beautiful downtown, well, Bob Hope area, Burbank, but downtown it really is just around the corner. Uh, holy cow, that was a super fast trip up to San Fran and back. Um, but the flights were nice. This one was a little bit bumpy coming back, but you know, that always adds to the excitement. And now there's, there is hustle and bustle here right now in little uh, Burbank airport. But that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for coming along with me on this solo adventure of the Aaron space. And yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.